And welcome back, this is Bellers Gibber with another StarCraft 2 commentary. My opponent in this upcoming match is Palum. He is ranked 40th in his Platinum Division with 598 points, for f ah, 50 wins and 51 losses. And here we are in the game. I have spawned as the Blue Terran in the Southeast up against Palum. He is the Red Zerg in the Northwest, and yes, I picked up the reference, but I was too too nervous about it? I, well, not nervous, but I was too unsure about me picking up the reference to actually bring it up in-game. Palum is actually a playable character from Final Fantasy IV! Yes, he, him and his twin brother Porum are uh, magic casters, I believe. But, um, yeah, I was kind of like, is that the guy, or is he not going to know what the fuck I'm talking about? So I didn't bring it up in the game. The map is Shakura's Plateau don't think I mentioned that. This is not one of my favorite maps, especially against a Zerg player, because the expansions are so easy to get, because, and the map is so large, it is huge, that it's so hard for a Terran player to be aggressive on this map in the early game. Pretty much you have to do something, I, I wouldn't say cheesy, but you have, you have to aim for something higher than infantry in order to get damage done on his base and look at that he instantly knows where i am and well not instantly but he s picks the right spot and he moves inside my base and this made me think that he was down here but he's not he moved all the way from up here i don't know i find it's about 50 50 i he's gonna harass my scv so i pulled two scvs off the line that is something that i've been doing lately i don't know if that's the smartest idea but i could probably just get away with one and then uh, have this guy halt construction and then attack that way uh there, i still have more people inside the mineral line but that's what i've been doing lately he is going for a fast expansion here. It looks like it was a 14 hatch. Yes, it was. Uh, he is going, pretty much just going to be going for drones right now. It doesn't look like he's got a spawning pool coming up. Oh, there we go. Spawning pool is on the way. I don't see any gas yet, though. There we go. So, uh, there it is. Hatchery, spawning pool, gas. Pretty standard. It was a little later than I was used to, though, or at least used to seeing in replays. Meanwhile, I am going for one barracks, and what's this? What? I've got two gas up? What? Maybe I just didn't know what I was doing that day. Maybe? Nah. Why pretend? I'm not going for three rocks. I'm going for a bunker, barracks, and then we should be should be seeing some tier two buildings coming up. Factory should be next. Who knows what'll come after that? Maybe I'll go for one racks, three factories. Maybe I'll go for banshees. Who knows? Palum is does have his second hatchery up. Looks like he's not getting anything. There he is. He's getting a two, four zerglings and a queen, but no drones. Why no drones? There we go. Just one. I don't know, do do hatcheries spawn with three larvae or do they spawn with zero, one, two? I don't I don't know. Looks like he thought he had built drones, he rallied them to the minerals. <laughs> you guys cannot harvest. I am sorry. Oh, what the hell? Hey, don't run away from me. What what is going on? Nice. I'm still amazed by my own graphics that the computer can render for me. Oh, here we go! I'm gonna be going for two starports, and if you guys saw last game, you should know what I'm going for here. Uh, except I'm not all Eeyore about it. I don't know if I was too mean to that guy. And I'm recording this before I upload the last one, so you'll have to tell me, oh dude, you were so mean to that guy? I already forgot his name, but he's going. But I am going for two port banshees here. It is such a good build against Zerg players, and really all he's got to counter it right now are two queens. He's got no tech instead. He's going for a queenling nest, which means he's not going to have enough gas fast enough to get the mutas as fast as he could. He is going for a lair, and. Uh, 
Yeah, just injecting right now. Doesn't look like he's getting any creep tumors at all. Uh, Bane nest is kind of strangely placed. Uh, usually they go around the back of the mineral lines, but not this time. All right, two tech labs are up. Got very, well, decent saturation here. Yeah, 16 and a mule, and boom, cloaking field and one banshee. Don't have enough minerals for the second banshee because I've been getting marines, and I also, no, no, nothing out of the factory yet. But he has almost no army in his base. Really, all he's got are those, um, yeah, three zerglings. He's got one there, one there and one there. So he does have sight over the map right now, but that's not good enough for him uh, because he does not know what's going on inside my base. He doesn't even have an overlord anywhere nearby. He's got them all spread over the map except anywhere near here. So he has no idea about these two banshees on the way. And what's this? Infernal pre-igniter. I'm going for hellions. What? Who is this guy? Well, yeah, this, if, for those of you that don't remember, I did go for this one time previously, and I ended up with a shit ton of minerals. So I'm going to be going for a little bit more mineral-heavy build here. As you can see, I'm doing a great job on, satur on uh, mineral uh, spending, mineral management. But, um, yeah, not so great in supply, because I didn't realize how much these guys cost in uh, supply, they are actually three each, and I didn't, so I did not calculate, I thought they were just two, or maybe one, either way though, a uh, little bit behind on the uh, supply depots, that's alright though, do have two banshees, and cloak is finished, now I have three, I'm kind of just waiting for the fourth one right now, uh, this overlord will not get to my base in time, to see these guys. Uh, yes, so Hellions are out along with Marines and Bonkers, so if he has Banelings, which it does look like he is going for, he will be doing well. I scan inside his base, I see basically uh, just a small little clump of Zerglings and a spine crawler. And so I think, I was thinking to myself that he was going for um, some kind of tech, so I was like, oh crap, I better get in there soon. He does have the infestation pit, and he's going for a hive. Um, so early for a hive. Ten minute mark? He's getting 18 zerglings and an infester, it looks like, to counter what he must assume is a ground attack, but it is not a ground attack. I mean, to have banshees going around the outside. Uh, they are a little bit later than he's probably used to seeing when it comes to banshees, but once again, he has a random player, so who knows how often he actually sees it. I do have another banshee hanging out inside my base in case he tries to go for a run by, and yes, Colonel Preigniter done. I don't know if I wanted to show that, but I did anyway. I'm running by, so I see this third base that he was going for is really early, early for a third base. I do force the cancel on that, even though I already left. So I'm going inside his base. What am I going to see? He's pretty much going, his only anti-air are infestors and queens. And he is morphing in aimings for some reason. But that is not going to do anything against these banshees that are now doing massive amounts of damage. Three, three, one, three. So ten kills between them. So I'm moving out. There's a couple more drones here. Pretty much one-shotting them. Boom, he goes for the instant counterattack. This is what I was expecting. That is why I did keep one Banshee inside my base. I do have Hellions out front and Marines out back. And boom, look at all that damage. I light this tree on fire with my Infernal Free Igniter. Ailings are not going to do crap. They're just too slow against my Hellions. And he leaves the game. Did end up taking out that factory. Did end up, uh... Ah, let's go back and look at that. Because these guys are damaged, and I want to I wanna show you how that happened. Oh, looks like it was fungal growth. Yeah. Oh, right after I cloaked. So, there you go. Uh, my cloak was about a half second too late. If you take out all the investors, and then once this... Um, once the Banelings pretty much did wrap all, he kind of just left the game. And the tension goes down. 
and that's the game. I did fall apart in the macro still. Um, yeah, still not used to this build. Uh, going for the command center, the siege tank, I need more marines, more... Uh, what am I doing with siege tanks? I need hellions. Uh, maybe something produced out of here. Need that, need an armory. You know, there's still so much I need to learn how to do on this build. But once again, you know, four cloaked banshees win the game for me pretty much. Did he have um, enough army to get by maybe this bunker? Yeah, you know, but I went because I end up with so much minerals due to this build. I still end up with a lot of minerals, even with all this, all these guys out there. But yeah, you 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 always have to learn from your mistakes, and there were definitely mistakes in here. But I did a decent job here, and at least I think it's decent. Um, looks like I'm actually supply locked still. Huh. Wow, I'm supply locked. So yeah, I was behind in supply the entire game. Uh, I did not really think that the bench, the quick banshees, was going to cost me that much supply, but it did. So once again, banshees against Zerg on this map do great for me. I might have to keep this in mind every time that it comes up. So I hope you guys enjoyed the game. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.